Hello, Blackman. Welcome to Blaze Sports Network. And we're here to talk about college games, NFL, anything you guys want. And if you guys really want to see something, we can do private interviews with Blackman athletes or coaches. All right, so the first thing that we're going to get into, we're going to get into a recap of the bowl games. Um, <clears throat> probably some of the bigger bowl games. Um, so you have not really one of the bigger games, but Miami, Ohio plays UAB in the Bahama Bowl. Uh, UAB comes out four points ahead of Miami. That's really good for, to 20. from UAB. I mean, um, I'm not surprised with my, Miami because, you know, they're kind of a hockey school, but uh, yeah. it's still good that they showed up in a bowl game. So. Um, I guess the next bowl game we'll get into is uh, the Las Vegas Bowl. Where did Florida top rank out at 24 or something? I think that was you that. You like, Florida hasn't been ranked for a while, and then playing number 17, Oregon State, 30-3. Uh, to 3. Ah, Just getting run That's, through. That, that's not looking good on Florida at all at the moment. Honestly, not really a big upset from Oregon yeah. State there because, I mean, ranked 17 versus unranked Florida. I mean, Florida might have had a good record, just not good enough to be ranked that high yeah. or ranked um, at all, honestly. What's another bigger bowl game that we – oh, the Cincinnati-Louisville game. That was pretty good. Um, Cincinnati, last year playoffs, this year top, unranked. What, what was that? Top, top four? four? Yeah. And you drop all the way out. <clears throat> Obviously, you lose Sauce uh, Gardner. To drop that far to to Louisville? Next bowl game, uh, Middle Tennessee. I watched that game a little bit at the beginning, and it looked like San Diego State was just going to run away from Middle Tennessee. But uh, – Cause I think in the first half it was down, they were down 14-0, couldn't yeah. really get the ball movement, but uh, now and it looks like they came out with the win, 25 to 23 over San Diego State. It's a pretty big win for Middle Tennessee in a bowl game, especially in Hawaii. I mean, you got San Diego used to the sunshine, used to the hot. Middle Tennessee, it's been cold the last couple of weeks, so to go out to Hawaii and get that win, that's pretty big for them. So you have. You have SEC schools and future SEC schools, so including Oklahoma and Texas, and then plus Missouri, uh, Florida, and who? Uh, Ole Miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going one in five. Right. One in five, guys. And if you think about it, Texas at the beginning of the year, looking like they were going to compete all year long, got a lucky hurt quarterback, unlucky hurt quarterback, sorry. And, uh, they lose to Alabama, and from then on, it was just kind of downhill. I mean, they still finished out 21st rank, which isn't bad for them, but they were looking like an undefeated team until the big injury in the Alabama game. I, I think the one win is, is UTK beating number 10 Clemson, 31-14. to 14. Which was a big that, thing that, for them. That's a, that's a big win for Tennessee, considering... Um, Wasn't Hooker out of that game? Yeah, it was, um, oh, I can't even think of his name, but, no, 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 uh, the quarterback. Hooker, yeah. That. No, no, Hooker, Hooker's been injured with a uh, torn ACL. Yeah, the freshman go? I th- he might be a freshman, but that, that's a big win, and that's a big game. Um, Especially against Clemson, that looks kind of sad and, for and Clemson right there. What, what even happened before, it was like, uh. Like Clemson's head coach was talking about how they're gonna be like at home, like flipping burgers or something, and then Tennessee sends Clemson home, and then uh, some someone ended up getting Clemson's head coach's address and like sent a bunch of burgers <laughs> to to his that's, that's pretty, to his that's house. Good prank right there. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, um, there's a big prank, but that's actually oh, a pretty oh, good here, one. Oh, here's another um, SEC loss in the Gator Bowl. Number 19, uh, Notre Dame playing number 20, South Carolina, 45-38. to 38. I mean, okay, let's talk about Notre Dame. Every year, coming to college football, highly overrated. I mean, ranked in the top 10, and they can never stay in there. No, and like, even, even whenever they stay high, they, they, can't, they, they can't, can't finish it anything. out. They, yeah, yeah. Um, Speaking of, you know, we talk about the future SEC. We could talk about future Big Ten. UCLA, ranked 18, losing to unranked Pitt by two. 
and the Sun Bowl. And if you also Such look, big loss. USC loses to number 16 Tulane by one point, and USC is ranked number 10. And that coming to the Big Ten does not look good for the no, Big Ten. No, it doesn't. Um, <clears throat> uh, obviously, your your Power Five conferences are gonna have it. It's not gonna be a deep conference, any, any conference for that matter. Um, not not even the SEC. And especially this year, it showed you have maybe three top teams, and I think you can say the same thing for the Big Ten. With the SEC, you have Georgia, Alabama, and Tennessee for the majority of the year. Yeah. And I don't think that you can get much much further out of that. Um, <clears throat> obviously, the SEC played a lot better than the Big Ten this year. Yeah, we did not. Um, we did not play good this year. Michigan losing. Michigan Ohio fall, State uh, losing. falling short. Ohio State falling short. But I mean, at at the new year. Penn the, State with a big win though. Penn Utah. State is Penn State does get a big win. And that may have been a bigger upset game because I feel like, um, I feel like Penn State was ranked or uh, yeah, it was like, Utah it was, was like ranked two, eight. I think it was a Penn two Penn State score. was eleven. Yeah, and it was two score game. Yeah. Yeah, and and I think it was uh, who who did they play Utah? Yeah, Utah. I think Utah was the two score favorite, so like fourteen and a half maybe. Um, that that's big for for Penn State. Um, obviously, last year, not having a lot of success, and then you come in this year, and you have a lot more success uh, with your graduating quarterback, Sean Clifford. Oh. Yeah, LSU with a huge win over Purdue. I think it was sixty-three to seven, something yeah, like that. Yeah, uh, it's a big SEC win. But I bad, mean, bad Big Ten loss. But, I mean, Purdue went Big Ten championship. They did make it, but they're just not at the point where they can just compete with SEC yet. Well, you also have the Big Ten West. Yeah. They're not not strong at all. I think Big Ten needs to make a move with the team, and especially with UC- USC and UCLA coming in. Yeah. Here. Okay, um, I think to finish out, we we should talk about the college football championship coming up. Uh, was that uh, next Monday, the 9th? Yeah, TCU in Georgia. I honestly see TCU with a really good chance. I mean, oh yeah, after um, after their game against Michigan, they they came out flying. They came out uh, probably playing one of the better games, or one of their better games. My bad. Um, they, they should very much be in talks of being able to come up with this win. Especially with those big pick sixes. I mean, that defense was just – they looked pretty good right there. So, going up against Georgia, I mean, Georgia, number one seed, hasn't lost a game. Just beat no. Ohio State, but barely beat Ohio State. And you barely beat uh, a Kent State and a Missouri. Yeah, that that was a really that, that rough al- season. That should always be talked about. Um but who who do you have coming up big? I think I see TCU. I I see a big upset. I I think I can too. Um, probably by one or two points, maybe three yeah. at most. But yeah, that's that's where I see him. All right, folks, that's a wrap for Blaze Sports Network. Uh, first podcast of the year, and uh, we'll see how it goes from there, boys.